Hey guys, I'm Kilimanjaro E08. Just going to make a quick video here before I get some rest. Got a little work in just a little bit. Today we'll be doing a review of the Echo One M1918A3 BAR, licensed by Ohio Ordnance. I picked this one up for 260 off eBay. Haven't got around to shooting it yet, but uh, yeah, overall, you know, quality wise, it's not bad. It's really good replica of the Browning automatic rifle from World War II. So I guess we'll get started. The gun has a plastic stock. It's made of ABS. It's faux wood, meaning it's made to look like real wood. And it's a really nice walnut type finish. So we've got a metal sting mount down here. The shoulder rest is metal. And the butt plate and you have to disassemble or you have to take off the butt plate in order to put the battery in uh i'm not going to do it because it takes up too much time but basically i'll give you a, a rundown of it you got one screw here you got another one down over here basically you take that off it takes hold on a minute get your battery Comes with a 9.6 volt stick battery here, right here. It's a nickel metal hydride. I'm not sure what milliamp hour. I'm assuming like a 1500 or 1800 milliamp hour battery. Basically, you just take this. It's gonna sit at the lower compartment. You plug it in, put everything back, screw it down nice and tight. And you can go, this gun is LiPo ready, so you can use a LiPo battery with the uh, Echo One and Matrix BARs. I'm not, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, pretty sure you can use LiPo batteries with the, the Matrix versions, which is uh, what I'm thinking of getting next is the Matrix M1918 A2 BAR. Yeah, the Matrix M1918 BAR, full wood, we'll just go with that. <laughs> All right, so we have the receiver here, which is made of metal. So we got mag release right here is metal. The magazine is metal. It comes with two of them. Here's the one that I've got, the second one. I suggest picking up a couple more of these. They only hold 190 rounds. Basically, if you look at it, it's an oversized M16 Vietnam mag. I'll just leave it here. Okay. So to release the mag, basically you push, comes right out. The mag straight in. You got your fake charging handle. I mean, you got your mock charging handle here, which doesn't do anything. It just opens up your hop up. That's metal. Oh. So you, for the mag release, you can either go straight in, or you can do it AK style. Rock it in that way. Okay, this side of the receiver, you know. Pretty much blank there's no trademarks on either side of the uh, either sides of the receiver uh, right here mine is missing uh, there's a bolt cover that goes over here that opens up I don't know why mine's is missing I noticed when I've seen uh, used BARs these pieces this bolt cover right here is usually missing brand new you know you're not gonna have that problem but from what I've noticed and what I've got. My bolt cover is miss missing, so if yours happens to be missing or you've lost it, just be careful of how you set the gun down because as you can see, the gearbox is exposed. So speaking of gearbox, it uses an M240 gearbox. Um, all the parts are upgradable. That's a good thing about the BARs. Oh, one thing I forgot to cover, the fire selector switch. Right now it's in safe. This is slow fire on the real VAR. And this is fast fire. Do be careful, as you can see, there's some play in this selector switch. You don't want to swing this thing too far back because I've heard this thing will actually break if you swing it around 360. Okay. So the VAR is full auto only. There is no semi on this. And that's staying true to the real VAR, which only has two modes of fully automatic fire. You either have I think 
400 rounds a minute and then you have 600 rounds a minute so that's what a and f are for a is for slow f is for fast Okay, moving up to the handguard here, we got a, the same full wood handguard here. It comes up, if you want to take it off, there's these two screws right here. Just, you'll just push it out to the other end, and the handguard will split like this, like a clamshell. Okay, moving up, we got the outer barrel and gas tube assembly, which are metal. Same with your sling mount. And your flash hider, which starts over here. And front sight are also metal. Your rear sight is metal too. You can flip it up and down. I pretty much have it, for me I have it at this setting. I don't really see the use of using the aircraft style rear sight because I'm not going to be shooting down the airplanes or anything like that. Even the real BRs can't really shoot an airplane down with this kind of gun. Although there is one confirmed account of an Air Force captain who did shoot down a Nakajima with a BAR through the cockpit of his bomber or something like that. I read, a, I read a story on it and I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, and the mo most noticeable thing you notice about mine is I've taken off the bipod and the carry handle. Bit the thing is, the bitch is heavy. I'm sorry for my language. This thing is just too damn heavy with the bipod and carry handle. So for me, for ease of use and just, you know, humping around with the weapon, I've taken off the B, you know, the bipod and the carry handle. It's easier to carry around. The gun, you know, was like 14 pounds with it on. It's just too much weight. Um, and plus it looks cooler. And let me show you the trademarks. These are laser engraved. Licensed by Ohio Ordnance. So they make the M1918A3, the real steel version of it. But the original M1918A2 BARs were made by Colt. Colt and a couple other companies. Uh, that one had... The only difference between that and this is was between the Ohio Ordnance and the A2 from World War II in Korea was that the A2 had more of a Parkerized finish or a blued finish if it was early in the war. And it had a big like black stock. Which actually was really nice and... I guess when this paint wears off, because it is kind of weathered, I don't know if the camera's getting that. So, given time that the paint wears down thinner, I'm thinking about doing that. I mean, that nice parkerized gray or blue finish with the black fake light stock. That, that to me, you know, is so iconic. But it also looks good with the wood stock and the wood handguard. That's kind of, I like that too. I just wanted to try and make it, for one, more period correct, and two, you know, Ribbon from Saving Private Ryan. Uh, the barrel length is 509 millimeters, so basically it's an M16 length inner barrel. Ends about right here, I think. Oh, one thing I'm going to let you know before you get the BAR. I don't know if all of them are like this, but the outer barrel is very loose when I got mine, so I had to take the thing apart and you know jimmy around with the, the gas tube assembly and all that. Tighten it down. So there's these two little screws, three little s Allen head screws down here. They're metric. You want to tighten those down and play around with the gas tube and all that crap. Then you, it'll be tight. Mine is good now. It was super hella wobbly when I got it. So just, just to let you know, that is one thing you may encounter if you do happen to get the BAR. I don't know if all of them are like that, but if you have that problem, just letting you know ahead of time. That is one of the problems with the Echo One BAR. I'm not sure what the Matrix ones are like or whatever. So yeah, I think I pretty much covered everything. We'll end it here with some close-up shots of the weapon. It's a big, big gun. It's the largest in my collection. I mean, here's my M1. It's my ICS M1 Garand. You can see is a wider weapon and slightly longer than my Garand. Put my Garand back. Oh, another problem I should tell you is that if you do remove the bipod and the carry handle, it may take off the paint. Mine came like this already. I had seen some use.
and you get the BAR. Of course, you want to get the BAR belt too. Just give me a second here. Let's hang it in my equipment. Okay, I got the BAR belt here too. I, got, I actually got this from Mandalion. They have it now. You can get it for $35. There's at the front, which is $100 if you want the best of the best. And I would avoid getting the ones made in India and Pakistan. So stick with either Mandalion at the front or if World War II Impressions makes it, I say go for it. So these can hold up to 12 BER magazines. But what I recommend for Airsoft is get four additional BER mags and stick them in the front. So two here, you're going to hold two here. To here and then you can go to this place called Marshall's Arsenal. I'll try to provide a link at the bottom. And you can get dummy mags and just fill up the rest of the pockets because you don't want this thing to look empty like how it is now. That's what I'm thinking of doing. So you have that full like BAR gunner look. So yeah, the, again the belt I got from Mandeline. Those are some marine suspenders I also got from them. But yep, that has been a review of the Echo One M1918 A3 BAR, Browning and Automatic Rifle. Thanks for watching.